My name is Chillmonger. It's live. And look at the time of the day it is for me and probably for most of you. What time is it right now, Buckmeister Cool? Uh, it is 10 to 7. <laughs> it's just a, a, almost 7 a.m. in the morning over at what part of the world are you in right now? South Africa. South Africa? Like Thailand? Yeah. Did you yeah. do the water challenge? <laughs> or, what, or what? South South Alkebulon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got to stop saying the A word. Alkebulon. Because Africa. No, I, yeah. No, what, what, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I mean, you know, the branding is there. The branding is the branding. Everybody calls it Africa. So I, I like at this point, it's just like whatever helps the area do well. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. we can be particular. We can be particular about it. But the branding is the branding at this point. I'm not like I'm not about to look at somebody like you said, Africa. It's actually I'll get no. <laughs> but I can help it get there. One day we can slowly change. That's why you got to vote for those third party candidates, everyone. Democrat, Republican. Nah, F that. Vote for that Green Party, or mm. oh, there it is. Remember, right before I started, I was like, "All oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> it came back." But like, um, Cornell West, he's out here doing a great thing politically. Vote for mm. him, and then mm. he obviously he's not going to win the election, or very unlikely that'll happen. Very unlikely. But that little percentage can be built on, and can be built on and built on and built on, mm. until all of a sudden that ridiculous thing that we were talking about is viable. Mm. As soon as I said that, I lost my one viewer because I don't know. <laughs> I had one viewer. Iwaju is a trailer. Disney's put it out. I haven't seen it yet. I uh, I required assistance from this guy over here who told me about how ever since Black Panther 2018, now you can pitch to the studios, hey, this is Wakanda in space, or this is like Black Panther in space, and it gives you that. What Black Panther had started and be, be began the journey that it began us on, the possibilities that it allowed us to have, is here on Disney+. Plus. Recast T'Challa, damn it. <laughs> Let's go. From Disney Animation and the groundbreaking storytellers of Kugali. Happy birthday, Tola. This is our team. You want that story, pet? It's great. Comes a Disney Plus limited series. What would you say if I It's limited? Meaning yeah. that it's going to have a beginning and an end without a season two? Yeah, I don't like that. I thought it was going to be like a, you know, uh, like a, you know, at least like a two season thing or something or a three season thing. That's what I was crossing fingers for. Why don't you not cross your fingers and clap your hands and celebrate this franchise with a built in exit strategy? You black accept this. <laughs> I'm just I'm just so happy that there's someone else who sees things the way I see things. And you you saw that before I even saw it. The, the limited series aspect of it. Yeah. That's what they do, often. Yeah. Uh huh. All these comic I'm, books. I'm still, go I'm still gonna push and try and you know do what I can for it. But it's just like when I was hearing because I, I think I know some people who worked on this, or like I know some people who know some people, type of thing. And I heard that they were trying to push for like an actual like whole series for a cartoon. So when it became lim now that it's a limited series, I'm like ah, but okay. And it's not their fault, by the way. Everyone uh, who's trying to get <laughs> popping, it is more so the more so. The <laughs> I didn't even read this yet. What does it say? It says, "Nice to see your face, Buckmeister." Glad to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't know, he's tell right, from, though. He's right. You, you couldn't. You couldn't tell from the way I've been going hard on recast T'Challa. I'm pretty sure, like some people, uh, they'll that do that. that. They'll do that to gain their following, and then once it's time for the real work to get done, then they get into their anti-black racism. That's what it's. Uh, it's a slow game. They got to build their 1,000 followers, and now they have influence. All right, vote Trump or something. That's a weird strategy. <laughs> black power. Vote the ring. <laughs> okay. Let's keep watching. Yeah. Disney Plus limited series. What would you say if I asked you to go to the mainland? Well, let's set in a futuristic Nigeria. Yeah. You want to see the real Lagos? Yes. Let's go. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria. Tolab, your daddy has done well for himself. This is how to fish in large rivers. Oti, where's my daughter? She's your responsibility. So we got a family. Where's my daughter? Um, we got education on a place that actually exists in real life. Oh, we got a, we got a live we got a live dad. That's good. <laughs> Wait, we're not working very high. We're like th th there's very low standards. But they're executing on that. 
female mm-hmm. protagonist. Her hairstyle is not straightened also. Mm-hmm. That's something that we often get. Beautiful. Uh, this got a fun little creature, so you know that's merchandise opportunities, that little orange thing. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I like the handshake that the kids were doing also. Mm-hmm. There's a lot there, there's a lot going well for this place, for this uh franchise here. Yeah. Like How they the can hair stretch it. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, they got that down as pretty I mean his hair kind of, it's it's more a clean shaven version of mine, so that's good. <laughs> um yeah, I feel like they can stretch this out though. Like I feel like because remember, Disney's also done like useless things. Like they gave like How to Train Your Dragon, like two seasons of a cartoon. And I'm like, nobody was watching that, but you guys kept making it. So let's just apply that to this. <laughs> mm. I mean, Kung Fu it's Panda. Really... Like... Oh. Anyway, Fu. sorry, keep going. I was saying Kung Fu Panda even got like seasons of cartoons and no one was watching it. So it's just like, obviously, there's somebody wasting resources. Waste some resources on this. <laughs> Before you say no one was watching it, the five-year-olds don't have Twitter accounts. They were watching it. Ah, okay, cool. The jetpack here, awesome, futuristic. Still a little bit of roots also uh, with like a market that is just traditional. Like people want markets like this. Yeah. That's that's fine. No, it looks like downtown Joburg. Joburg looks like that as well. Joe Big. When I hear that, I think about how um, Ulysses Claw said it in the in the movie. <laughs> so look, it looks like the animal in the center. It's uh, mm. being tracked. We gotta find it. Mm. Cool. That's the gecko or the pet thing, right? Yeah, the, the pet gecko. Yeah. So what? He chipped it with a tracker, I guess. Yeah, it's important. Let's see, where's my daughter? She's your responsibility. Find her. Be careful, though. Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, they're in the same company, so they'll get away with it. These yeah. people are actually dangerous. I laugh in the face of danger. I did hear you laugh. Oh. <laughs> Cola. That's a Lion King you. reference. Oh, yeah, That's you're right. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really in love with that gecko. Mm. The way it just ran right now, it was beautiful. Yeah, that's sick. Look at that thing. Yeah, determination. <laughs> oh, you know, if you want to make an animal cute, you give it big eyes, and that's all it takes. No, and you give it like a badass running scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely gonna be like I need my own gecko. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's Grogu. Mm. I wonder if they're like ninjas or something because like they're fighting people and using technology. Well, a- African versions of ninjas will say hunters or what. I wonder if they like got some special training or something. Training by who? Perry the platypus. <laughs> same company, I'm telling you. <laughs> same agency. You're going to see a Doofenshmirtz Easter egg any minute now. <laughs> Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated Nigerian style. <laughs> <laughs> So we got dancing, and I think this is the second time that we've seen them on this uh like area here. They did a kick yeah. thing later earlier, like the kid and play kick. Mm. And then mm. wait, where is it? Here. They do a slide yeah. and they're celebrating <laughs> uh, a Nigerian way. That's cool. Yeah. It's culture. It's yeah. influ- and I love the colors also. Someone's thinking yeah. about the backgrounds. And someone like they're really doing a little, the most right now. It's it's good to see effort uh for mm-hmm. this limited series. Yeah, no, it looks great, actually. Like, it looks like some, like, Pixar level, you know? Right in the beginning of the trailer, they said it was Disney, and they said in association, so that from Disney Animation and Mm. Kugali. So I don't know who did the the brunt of it, but it was cool. Well, from what I know, what I know, Disney's doing the distribution, and then the guys from Kugali, they worked in a Disney studio to do the animation or something like that. Like, I know they did most of the work, but Disney was handling most of the distribution, kind of like Kizazimoto yeah. a little bit. And that's what I I know. If somebody can correct me otherwise, uh, You know what we so. were supposed to notice about Kizazimoto was yeah. these guys from that worthless place are accomplishing a TV show. We were actually not supposed to take it as a regular TV show. We were supposed to be in awe of how lesser than people were able to do. I didn't realize that at first. Uh, And I didn't even say it during my video talking about it. It was Africans can animate Mm. was supposed to be our intended reaction. 
And that's why that they got off with that without thinking of things long term. This this is not long term, of course, limited, but still it's at least it's a series. It's not like like Kizazimoto the failing, not the failing, but the the thing that kind of hurt it, or not hurt it, let me say the, the unfortunate the handicap. Yeah, the, the handicap is that it's an anthology. So, uh, like, even if they get a season two, we're not going to get any follow-ups on those stories. And, like, those stories were great pilots. And it's like, if you wanted to do more limited series, please use one of those things and, like, at least stretch it out to be a series. That would be great. But, like, yeah, I still think it's a an amazing accomplishment. But it is, like, you could have taken this further. Like, I, again, I'm the glass half full guy, but I will always try to be objective about, like, how, what are we trying to achieve here type of thing. Oh, yeah, totally. Ooh. Like, I already love... I already <laughs> loved the gecko, and now we, what? What does it do now? It yeah. becomes a human form? Like, it's larger? Yeah, this is Optimus Gecko, <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They're dropping that Deadpool trailer. They're just like, yeah, let's get some claws in here. <laughs> uh-huh. The kids won't know the difference. Yeah, no, this looks good. Oh, all episodes. Oh, it looks, yeah, it looks like they're gonna drop it in a batch, Netflix style. Okay, not my. You know, they they get experimental yeah, I with feel, yeah. With, I feel like the, if they went week to week, it would have built like anticipation. Yeah, you are like my South African clone. Yes, I feel the same <laughs> way. But they get experimental when it comes to things that, like Echo. You know, that's not a white franchise. Let's see what we can do. Let's drop it all at once. Let's see how that mm. uh, ends up. We can risk it here. Turning red, uh, the, the thing with the Asian girl. Now let's, yeah. let's let's throw that in here on Disney Plus rather than theatrical release or Soul. You know, they, they've rarely have they done something. No, I think Soul got a. No, oh, it didn't. I didn't see it here. I think I should have gotten a theatrical release, but I didn't see it here. Because you guys never had lockdowns during the 2020? No, I mean, you know, sometimes like the theaters, they did, they were opened up, but it was like limited or whatever. So I thought we would, we would see some because, you know, it was, it was like, yeah, it, like people weren't going to the theater in general anyway because of the lockdown, but like some of the theaters didn't close. Mm. I have 10 seconds left on uh, on this. Right. Actually, kind of cute. I take that back. Oh, oh, did you hear its eyes? There was like a... Mm-hmm. Yeah. One. Take that back. Yeah, so it's like a machine. It's not all organic. I No, there's no way it's organic at all. Like, this whole trailer has been telling us this is a super gecko. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that's why I'm looking at this little girl like, you should be very glad your dad gave you this. If I got a super gecko at 11, oh my god. <laughs> and I, I love animals anyway. Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Disney kid. I grew up on Disney. Like, Kim Possible, Rufus. I always wanted a Rufus. So, like, this is, this is giving me those vibes and I really like that. We got the, I want the orange gecko wrap, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have been Chillmonger. Oh, well, I should, I should add this. Free Palestine. I do not subscribe to Disney+. Plus. My membership wanes on the support that of this yeah. uh, war happening there. I'll still talk about it, and but I just cannot give my money to somewhere. No, no, no. no. Free, free Palestine. Not, wait, real. hold on. Let me, let me correct myself before I sound like a hypocrite. I still buy the Black Panther comic book, and I don't understand that that's the parent company of Disney. I understand the complexities of it. And I'm not gonna get deep into it now at the end of this video. Um, yeah. You know, oh, also, your- free Congo, free Congo. I just wanted to add that as well because Congo is also going through some things. And at the end of the day, the things that we're trying to achieve, it's like this stuff puts money in the pockets of people who need it. So if we have stuff that is going to where those places, where the money's going to those places, and if we're building industries that are helping those places that's what this achieves it's not about supporting disney as well it's just that disney is the medium we go through bro yeah like i said south african clone because i do i put the (laughs) same thought into it that way like i think about what are the ends if me if i'm funding the success of a black comic book character who's legendary and i'm 
a providing reason dollars for four dollars a, a month to combat white supremacy and the stigma that these people are worthless and i'm giving my money to that that i'm using and while the company is disney i th- i don't think what i'm doing is of harm if i'm using if i buy a new phone even though the resources that create this thing come from congo who are not benefiting off of it and just but if i use my popularity or my platform here as a content creator to do good then i can say the ends justify to me that's a conversation i had with somebody else uh unrelated to youtube while we were having this talk if i'm going to create a comic book which i am and all this social media stuff that i'm doing in 2024 which relies on the backs of is slavery the correct word it's slavery yeah if, I, if i'm doing that but it's to become rich popular and promote change and help with my money feed people who cannot be fed and and, and give water and and do, like i i can no, see i myself. think like people need to be careful when it comes to movements like they all think that movements are monoliths and they can't be if a movement is one thing it dies that's why any like major movement when it was headed by one leader and the leader gets offed, the movement yeah. stops. It needs to be multifaceted. Like some of us can be boycotters, some of us can be marching in the streets, but some of us can be using our influence and you and in using awareness to get people aware of the situation so that we can make some sort of change on multiple levels. If you only go in one direction, it dies. It's very simple. You've seen it here in South Africa. We've seen it in America. We've seen it in like in other places as well. If a movement is only one way, it's not multifaceted. It's never going to get the reach it needs. So I don't think you having a moral superiority actually helps the cause. I think that if you decided to boycott, that's great. But if you're looking at somebody using their platform to gain influence to actually help those people to say, okay, here's somewhere you can donate. Here's somewhere you can look at this. Right. Here's somewhere you can do something like that then that all of those angles will help to change the situation even if instagram and facebook are owned by oppressive places and even if there's a lot of shadow banning and even i do got to use the platform um and help the platform but i'm using it to spread word which is worth it and and every issue deserves its own conversation and own thought of and weighing yeah fighting amongst each other isn't advantageous no it doesn't help discussions help yeah 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 no the moral superiority of it all like for example somebody might see like why are you guys watching iwaju why are you guys giving disney it's like bro there's nigerian animators behind this there's people who could feed like nigeria is also going through something there's people who could feed their family through this animation if it does well like pushing this kind of thing it helps like that's why Black Panther was such a big deal, you know, in the real world sense before we get to the fictional sense. But I'm just saying there's multiple ways to help people. Don't just limit it to one thing because never it's never worked. And I respect anyway. any I respect anyone who wants to spend their money on these what I'll call them crumbs. If you go, no, yeah. the creators are black. I need to support. And that's that. I disagree. And a lot of times I think like you shouldn't even bother with your money going to these useless projects like Marvel's Voices. Don't feel no need to pre-order DC Power. Mm. Which I did I had it on my pull and I wasn't gonna tell my retailer don't pick it nah. up. So I it actually was in my pull like when I went to eventually. Yeah. But like and I was and if it's in my pull I'm not gonna put it back. It is what it is. Because he's he just knows they they know that I get everything black. So they they put it in my pull. All right. I'm not gonna get mad at somebody who bought that and went, see you gotta support. I understand the love. I disagree. I think that is a worthless comic book. I don't think that, um, what's her name? Cheryl Lynn Eaton, right? So she did a comic book about Thunder and Lightning, about uh, Black Lightning's kids. Oh, yeah. These yeah, are yeah. irrelevant comic book characters. There's nothing that's going to happen here that's of, of value. Then there's no furthering on the story. There's no continuation. They're just there. I understand that. There's nothing to sell. I shouldn't. I, I wish that this was a low selling comic book. So the next Black History Month, they go, okay, we got to put effort into it to make it sell. Let's yeah, yeah. like it, it, it would be awesome if it was like Black Lightning had an ongoing and they were like great supporting characters in his ongoing. And then after that, like during Black History Month, they're like, okay, we got to push Black Lightning now. Here's a solo series. Here's him with Batman. 
they bring the outsiders back or whatever. They have him pop up in like, you know, Justice League stuff and all of that stuff. Like basically if they start spreading him throughout and then have him have his ongoing series alone also, give him some feats in a Justice League comic book, get people interested in him so that they can go chase him down to his solo series. That would be that would be great. But That's like three one off the effort they put into it. <laughs> Like, but one offs, as much as it's good to support one offs, it is. It's just like, but it, it, it stops. Like, also, this T'Challa one shot, I know you're going to talk about it. Like, I don't know how I feel. So, so it's three issues of the Blood Hunt tie in. You yeah. don't know how you feel because, you know, just like this, it's a limited series. Just like Iwaju, it comes yeah. to an end, you know, a limited series. So we understand that. However, I just don't want to ever give the excuse that, that, um, just because it's a limited series or not. I don't want them to give the excuse, yeah, the Black Panther doesn't sell. Yeah. That's my fear. And I, and it's mm. it's canon, you know? It is 616. Mm. It's mm. not the ultimate version or, you know, the... Yeah. yeah. And I got uh, yeah. a channel. It, it, it very much helps knowing I have a channel and knowing I got to do T'Challa time every month. And so it's something to do. I, mm. That aside, it's good to give money to it. So, yeah, I'm going to get I'm gonna sub every comic and every variant cover that they got. I'm going to get for Black Panther Blood Hunt, I think. But not for Black Ultimate Black Panther. Ultimate Black Panther, let me just take one comic book, and, mm. and I'm good. I don't feel the need like to support like it's the same thing. Uh, I, I feel you. I feel you. Ultimate Ultimate Universe and all. That. I'm. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm buying it digitally anyway, so I'm gonna get all of it. But like, yeah, yeah I, I feel. I, I I feel what you're saying when you're like, it's an alternate universe. We're looking at maybe ten years, twenty, and max, and then this this whole thing collapses. So. You know, so it's not but, like I, I'm investing in something long term the way I am with six one six T'Challa. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get that. Like you want, like you, the the hope is is that ultimate feeds into six one six and gets people to understand what they want for the character. But like, yeah, if we're putting all our resources in in you know in alter in the alternate universe six one six zero, it doesn't mean that it's going to have the same legacy as six one six. So when you said six one six zero, I didn't know you were saying the number. Zero, I thought uh, you were just saying, Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, six, six one six zero, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, no, but yeah, I, I like, like again, just to bring it wholesale, the whole point is that these are the places that have the reach. TikTok is full of nonsense, but if people don't talk about it there, how are they going to reach people? Disney, full of nonsense, but how are we going to reach people to get these black characters to do things like the next wave of companies? If Disney and them don't shape up, it's gonna wipe them off of the map. But for now, this is what we have. Like when Chill Manga Productions does what it needs to do, Disney's not gonna be able to keep up. <laughs> it's just it's not gonna be able to keep up. They're not gonna be able to have the turnaround time. They're not gonna be able to have like the kind of like reaching to the public the way Chill Manga mm -hmm. Productions is gonna be reaching to the public. Yeah, like they're not just gonna be able to do that because of the they stupid can't. stuff that they've set up in the beginning. <sighs> Did you see the diversity, equity, inclusion standards that they've got? Amazingly flawed. But yeah, thank you. You're cast in the movie now. <laughs> Fantastic. So how much more time do you have instead of before I end this? Oh, live no, show? I'm, 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 I'm good for like, yeah, I'm good for a long time. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good for a long time. I'm not so you've going seen, anywhere. if you've seen this, these are the inclusion standards they have at Disney. This is on the website. Reimagine tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> it says. On screen representation, at least three of the following five areas need to be met to fulfill standard A. So that was on screen representation. All this stuff is like in the background and, you know, executives. Not, none, of, none of this actually looks appealing, even A. Like, really? I just think the fact that they have inclusion standards is still weird to me. It's just like, just include them. What, what's this A, B, like? Don't be racist. You know? How about that? Yeah. Like how you did Captain America, just do the same for T'Challa. It, it's the same. <laughs> it's you know? fine. And when they talk about the inclusion standards here, they, they use the word underrepresented groups. And this couples people of your skin tone, my skin tone, mm. under, underrepresented. So remember, that does, now we're talking height. You could be a midget. Is vegans mm. underrepresented? I would say so. Left-handed people are underrepresented also. I only give a flying F about skin tone variety in my media as far as representation. Whenever I use the R word representation, all I'm talking about is not how many people wear glasses, how many mm. women are there, 
I truly don't care about these other identifying factors that are not, um, you know, dad. Yeah, it's like, like as long as it's not pushing a character, there's no point. Like I remember seeing like somebody was complaining in Ultimate Black Panther that like the male cast is is not. Yeah, you were. Yeah, someone enough. said that on my stream. And yeah, I, and I just and said I it's just called like, Black Panther. What do you mean? Yeah, it's, and I was like, like you know, book. no, yeah, and like T'Challa's the focus. I'm not looking at oh, okay, there's five guys in the background. Uh, well, that's what they look for here. So I'm going to read all five of these. Your reaction to this. They say 50% of the characters are regular and reoccurring written characters are from underrepresented groups. You got to meet that standard. Again, one, vague. Two, I would take one character over half a cast if that one character is the focus of the series. Bingo. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense that we're going to do this whole thing of fifty percent. We don't know what that means. It could mean that the fifty percent on the other side is the main cast that we're going to see ninety percent of the time, and then the other fifty percent is going to get like ten minutes of screen time in the background. Go get him, Tarzan, and then he's gone. <laughs> if I wanted to be racist, I can really manipulate these rules. So then there's the same thing, but it's for actors. I would imagine this applies to like uh, animated stuff where it's not uh, a character on screen. You can look a certain way, but, but act for another character. So that's that. Secondary yeah. characters. Here, here. Secondary characters. Meaningful inclusion of underrepresented groups as secondary or more minor on-screen individuals, including background actors. Just like you But said. like again, if we go back to A1, that could be the 50% that they're talking about of the black characters. <laughs> How you feel about the word meaningful? inclusion uh, like who's deciding what is meaningful you guys yeah 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 there's nobody there like it, it feels like fluff it feels like i know what this is it feels like you guys are just trying to be like we did it and then like smoke bomb this yeah, will so fool some white people white people or people of color this or someone who's not woke and just really just i don't know think they want to think that the world they live in is great this they'll look at this and they'll say yeah we're really doing enough it's not a series, so series premise. It's not a per series or per movie or per episode problem. It's a studio wide wide problem. Mm -hmm. Have your white movies, make them completely white, very Caucasian. But then every now and again, your inclusion standards should be for every five movies where I've, where I've got the lead white guy, the sixth one will be someone just as dark as Chill or just as dark as Bugmeister. And, and don't turn them into an animal, please. <laughs> we got yeah. We those are the standards we're worried about. Don't don't get them out of jail. Don't don't say that this character is someone who is a liar or he's jobless or something. He's got to be having parents. Like we, those are the inclusion standards I'm looking for, and I don't see them here. Yeah. You could really slip something down the, the down. You can slip something in like Haunted Mansion, which didn't have a father in it, but they had a father in the first one. But they're remaking it. But Rosario Dawson isn't. You know, there's no Eddie Murphy there. So more, the series premise, meaningful integration of underrepresented groups in overall themes and narratives. Now that's the problem. Storylines are going to be affected by your inclusion standards. And, and that, that, that really is an issue. Like you can't have that. Now, now when yeah. people say that DEI is getting in the way of storytelling, you are literally proving them wrong. Uh, um, you're, what's, you're, the, what's, what's DEI? I missed out on that. <laughs> diversity equity and inclusion oh okay. so it's being right. mocked at especially from right wing area like fox news types people and they oh, scoff at course. it because they feel like the white man is under attack well underrepresented under groups from who? <laughs> under un, un, if you're if you are a white man and you see disney do this about an underrepresented groups you know they're attacking you if you're a straight white man i should say that's who that's you you are literally under attack by these inclusion standards they are literally correct they are yeah. the victim of a of a standard of a practice that's being pushed at the studio. Why are you providing fuel to a hateful or potentially a hateful person who's going to call people to his hateful messaging yeah. and say, look at Disney. Who are you helping, you dumbasses? Mm, yeah, like when they race swap, that's when I'm like, yeah, that's what you're doing. <laughs> like when when like when they did Wonder Man and they were like, yeah, yeah, Abdul Mateen. I was like, who is supposed to be excited for this? Who? <laughs> Hmm. I don't care. <laughs> and the but last yeah. one. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. And the last one was after series premise, it says 
episodic storytelling, ongoing meaningful integration of underrepresented groups and episodic themes and narratives. So every episode needs to have an inclusive moment or character. So you got to have the Black History Month episode and then you got to have, okay, look, the neighbor, he was the mailman and he's the one delivering the mail. But we, we did our black for this. Like you're actually uh, affecting story. You get 30 minutes per episode and two or three minutes need to go to this meaningful integration. It's yeah, it's problematic. Yeah. I, I mean, like, can people just look at like something like Teen Titans, even though like there is some problematic stuff with what they did with Cyborg in the cartoon. Like I didn't like how he didn't have a love interest. It was kind of just like, yo, you just letting this guy out by himself. But OK, whatever. Teen like Teen Titan Cyborg. Cyborg is like, especially from that cartoon, he's like a cultural phenomenon. And like he's the only black dude on the team, but people know him and he got a lot of focus. I feel like that stuff has way more effect than if you just, oh, yeah, we got this black character on the side who's going to show up for five minutes and then poof. Oh, we got the black mailman. He's going to deliver the mail and he's going to yell out like Black History Month. And then he's gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just saying like this, this list, that inclusion thing, it feels like such a and I'm not dunk at all white people. I know some of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not, but I'm just saying it feels like such a wide, like somebody who was writing this is like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. This is going to change the whole. And it's just like, no, I just think just, yeah, as Chill said, fine, for every six white movies, let's let's have a black one. Like Mulan, for example, like when Mulan came out, they had a bunch of white movies and then Mulan dropped and Mulan did amazing things for Asian representation to the point where she's like a mainstay. And even though she's not a Disney princess, she's my favorite Disney princess because she's actually useful. <laughs> but anyway, point being is Mulan did amazing things for the time and the representation throughout that entire thing because they even got Asian voice actors for it. So. And Mulan was before these inclusion standards and look what we're, gi yes. we're giving it points. So huh. what does that tell you? Mm. We're out. Just subscribe. We'll be in the comment section all our links are there if you love us like the video bye thank you for having me man